Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. And we're going to talk about today the more sex you have, the more sex you want, which is one of Bunny's favorite topics. Sex, sex, sex. So get into this because this is a topic that you brought up to me. That I'm passionate about. Yes, you are. <laughs> but let's lay down the groundwork of why, because when you're, when you're talking about basic, working with basic girls, in, in a you know relationship or you know you meet them in your normal uh, relationship cycle what usually happens within the first three to six months sexually 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 what generally happens is they're hot and heavy these girls are hot and heavy for the first I say three weeks but it, it usually st- it can stretch to about 12 weeks I say nine to 12 weeks, it really, the sexual interest starts to wane a bit for girls as they get a little bit more comfortable in a relationship. And by three months in, she's snipping at you for wanting sex a lot of times. That quick? A lot of times. How long do you think it takes a girl to really show you her sexual frequency, personal sexual frequency preference? You know, how long do you have to be around them? I think it's a matter of exposure. If you're only, if, if this is a girl in your rotation, and so you're only seeing her once or twice a week, and it's a sexual relationship, then maybe it takes a little bit longer. Because that's, that's the deal. Right. That's what you're there for. She may decide she wishes she were getting more of a relationship like romance, and so that makes her sexual interest kind of fall off or her general interest in you because she realizes oh you really did just want a sexual you're not, relationship you're not attainable. yeah yeah but i think from an exposure standpoint the the more you're together and especially the more like nights you're together and the, you know general sexy time the the quicker she's going to show her true colors as to what her real sexual appetite is got it and generally, they'll use it to lock a guy in. This yes. is this is well known. Sex is a tool. Yeah, sex is a tool for women to to get your interest and to lock you in. And then once she's got you, she can kind of let that go a little bit. Right. So what what we prefer to encourage is high frequency sex. Yes. And for so many reasons. So many reasons. Um, and the first, you know, the first one is sex is foundational in a relationship. A lot of relationships fall apart because the sex falls apart before the personal relationship falls apart. Yeah, because you know? truly the, the only thing that differentiates a, a sexual relationship or a romance or a significant other or whatever you want to kind of categorize it as is sex. Otherwise, they're just buddies. Yeah, it's a defining, it's a defining element of a relationship an yeah. intimate relationship yes you know a lot of oh, i could go without well you can have lots of friends then but you can't have a boyfriend or a husband yeah you know yeah so what's the point of of kind of putting up with all the other stuff or or managing all of the other issues or things that come up if there's no sex involved right and that's why the frequency is is frequent enough for you and that's the most important thing yeah you know that's the define how how often should we have sex as many times as the guy wants to have sex. Yes. You know, that's the frequency. And we say hi, you know, we say have sex every day. We say. You know, and people. <laughs> every day and twice on Sundays, yeah. baby. <laughs> but everybody has their own yeah. limits. And, and then like having a little kid. There's so many variations. Yeah. But we're talking about, having you know, kids for your average guy. And we want to give like good general um, uh, tips. But it also strengthens your relationship. Yeah. You know, it's very hard to stay mad at people, you know, and make up sex or, you know, <laughs> fight after fight sex is, yeah. it's not really the making up, it's the fighting that turns girls on and then it's over and, you know, they can make up. So. Well, and, and something that, I, that I've also often said is that whenever you have a really strong sexual bond, you can withstand a lot of things, other things coming at you. So yeah. it, it does pair bond you. Yeah. And then st- other stressors in the world, whether it's kid dealing, whether it's in-laws, whether it's jobs, whatever, 
it's easier to kind of stand united yeah. against everything else coming at you. Yeah, and you see this over time. When you yeah. get around people that have had a solid marriage for 20, 30, 40 years. Yeah. And they're both very mentally healthy and healthy families, healthy kids. There's a strong, passionate, yes. sexual undertow under or under, I can't remember yeah. the right word, yeah. um, to the relationship. And, it, and it's not always on the surface, but it's there. Yeah. You know, there's still a lot of hand holding. There's still a lot of touching. Yeah. And that carries over into the bedroom, which is, of course, a private thing. But you you know it when you see it. When oh, you've yeah. You've been around it long enough. Absolutely. Um, and the, the third thing is when you have frequent sex, it tends to help alleviate what you think are big problems because it's mm-hmm. a stress reliever. Mm-hmm. These problems or these these fights or these these uh, things that are bothering you about your spouse, girlfriend, tend to go away. It's true. And it's not really it glosses over. It gives you perspective. It's a perspective yeah. thing. Yeah, because, I mean, a lot of times you may even be in, in a harsh business environment, our sales environment, you know, mm-hmm. but it allows you to have some perspective. It's almost like getting on a plane and leaving town. Yeah. It allows you to kind of reset and see things for as they really are. They're not life or death. It's very much just, you know, a localized temporary problem. Yeah. And not worth blowing up your life over. So, you know, that's that's one of the keys on on frequent sex is it really helps keep you balanced. Yes. You know, and again, kind of like training, kind of like training in the gym. The more you do it, mm-hmm. the more you want to do it. The more because you, you want to do it. Yeah, yeah, you get better returns on your investment. Oh, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. And, and it just keeps the gears grease. Right. And so, and a lot of this, and this is one thing I do want to leave it open is, you know, in this case, we're talking about, you know, working with the same girl. Yeah. But for a lot of guys, you know, it may be running a rotation of girls. And yeah. so this is all one-sided if it's just you and she's having sex with you, you know, once a week. But you're having sex three times a week with yeah, three different absolutely. girls. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, in this context, we generally are talking a, a relationship. About keeping a relationship strong. Yeah, it just says. Yeah. But that is the bottom line. And it's, it's nothing that's not worth... Testing, you got a girl that's kind of like backing off, and you have a sexual frequency that you prefer. You have to you put your foot down and say, This isn't going to be okay. Yeah. And continue having sex on a regular basis because a lot of girls will back off if you let them. If you let them. But if you don't let them, after a while, they go, Oh, this is how I'm supposed to do it. But the way most men handle it, and I should say most guys handle it, is they just start begging for it. Yeah. It's, it's, not sexy at all. It's not sexy at all. So I so, think the key is not to feel needy right. in your need for sex, but more decisive that, no, this is, this is the way this relationship works. And one thing that game can help you with this is keeping her attracted to you. Is, yes. And I, and I don't want to get into dread right now, but reminding her in subtle subconscious ways that other women are attracted to you, that'll keep her attracted to you. Yeah. That other women are available to you, that will keep her over or available to you. Yes. And that you're a high value man. And that's just from your own confidence, your yes. own irrational self confidence. But just that and not begging, not pleading, mm-hmm. not you're the boss dear. Mm-hmm. But the exact opposite of that, you know, helps keep her attracted to you and that keeps the frequency high. So true. Yeah. So, so true. we hope you we you're liking these tips. And you can comment below, uh, especially if you guys are anonymous, you're not comfortable. <laughs> but let us know what works for you. And um, you say goodbye. <laughs> well, what I was going to say is we really, really, really love the comments. Yeah. <laughs> we really, really, really love them. We do. And we want to hear from you guys. Hope yeah. you have a great day. Thank you.